Hello everyone, my name is Vincent and in today's video, I'm going to show you how can you treat your sick plant. Okay, to be honest with you guys, I am not an expert when it comes to plant arena to begin with. I just started with collecting plants or taking care of my plants like starting the quarantine. <laughs> Kasi mahilig na talaga ako sa plant, matagal na, especially nung maliit pa ako. So, I thought na uh, why not bring it back kasi wala naman akong trabaho. And then, ayun, sabi ko, why not bring my passion when it comes to taking care of the plants. So, ito na nga siya. So, guys, I want to show you this plant first. This plant is actually pretty sick. And I have no idea kung bakit siya naging sick na ganito. To be specific, this is a spatifylum. This is a jetty spatifylum. And it doesn't look like this at all dapat supposed to be kasi yung jetty spatifylum is like the medium size spatifylum but this one hindi siya talaga lumalaki and to be honest more than one year na siya ng ganito yung state niya hindi talaga siya lumalaki kasi I don't know why I don't really know why I've done a lot of things na kasi yung plant na to is that kinuha ko lang siya sa labas when I saw this plant parang sa sabi ko baka kasi na expose siya sa light masyado so that's the reason why there's a lot of black thingy sa leaves niya but I pruned it and I decided to put this uh, to put this one uh, uh, inside here in my bedroom it gets a lot of indirect light which is generally good talaga or ideal talaga for the plants. I thought it's gonna change the condition of this plant pero hindi. Parang ganun pa rin siya. I repotted this already and before you judge me being a bad parent for this plant, I never overwater this plant. Hindi ko din siya masyadong na dehydrate. It gets a lot of abundant indirect light and it has a lot of humidity so i was wondering bakit ganito pa rin bakit parang na yung yung leaves niya or yung foliage niya parang nasusunog pa rin basically parang i don't know i don't know exactly what happened kasi if yung kasi if ako yung may kasalanan as a plant parent basically lahat ng mga spotify lum ko dito sa room will end up like this will end up to have a leaves like this diba? but to be honest with you i have a total of 10 spotify lum pots here in my bedroom at eto lang talaga yung parang may sakit eto lang talaga yung parang sakit sa ulo ko kasi yung typical na leaves or yung typical na foliage ng spotify lum can live up to like even three months but eto few weeks lang yung leaves niya especially when it comes to older leaves niya nagto turn into yellow yung tip una and then it will turn into black and that black thing you will take over the whole foliage i was wondering kung ano talaga yung problema niya and i'm sure na hindi yun sa end ko as a plant parent so yun and then i come across an article about using this h2o2 or the hydrogen peroxide so the hydrogen peroxide basically ginagamit to if may external wound kayo or antiseptic basically ngayon ko lang talaga siya nalaman na may benefits na malaki din pala yung benefits niya when it comes to plants ang ingay ng gecko oh 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 sige sige pa Reset. I just want to share with you the articles that I have read sa internet. You might thinking about the hydrogen peroxide that it might hurt your plant, diba? Parang yan din yung unang naisip ko. Will the H2O2 hurt your plant? Sorry if you can hear the background noise of this effing dog. At kinakataon pa talaga na nagbablog ako. As in every time. <laughs> By the way, share ko muna sa inyo. My question dito, does hydrogen peroxide hurt plants? Almost anything in large quantities can be harmful and using huge doses of hydrogen peroxide or H2O2 on in the garden is no exception. When using the hydrogen peroxide for plants, however, the solution is generally diluted, making it especially safe for your plants. Hydrogen peroxide is also made up of the same atoms that water is made from with the exception of the additional atom of oxygen this extra oxygen of h2o or h2o2 gives the hydrogen peroxide or give the hydrogen peroxide its beneficial properties and so to answer the question does the hydrogen peroxide hurt plants the answer there is simply no as long as you are going to dilute it with water now what are the benefits or what are the uses uh, of this hydrogen peroxide it also says here it hydrogen peroxide can be used for any of the following in the garden like pest control treating root rot so basically you can put the seed on the diluted solution before nyo siya itanim we also have foliar spray to kill fungus and infection prevention on damaged plants 
hydrogen peroxide is not a fertilizer. Take note of that, H2O2 is not a fertilizer. But it also says here that it can boost plant growth. So how exactly? Oxygen can help plant boost absorb nutrients from the soil because this solution has extra oxygen on it. So basically, solution helps a lot when it comes to plant absorption of nutrients or water that it needs. Therefore, this extra bit of oxygen better enables the root to absorb more nutrients, which means faster, healthier, and more vigorous growth. And as a bonus, hydrogen peroxide can help discourage unwanted bacteria fungi that can be lurking in the garden so basically it helps boost the absorption of your plants ito yung best solution na naisip ko to treat this plant with the hydrogen peroxide kasi alam mo yun basically wala akong favoritism when it comes to my spotifylum all of them have the same treatment yun before i water them i make sure na dry up yung two to three inches na soil and then that's the time i put water in it all right guys so now i will be showing you the things that you will be needing in order for you to treat this plant so the first thing is this one this is a garden shear so before we treat this plant with the hydrogen peroxide we have to prune this so basically we have to remove all the damaged leaves on this plant okay now we have a one liter of water one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide wait so when you say one tablespoon that is 15 cc or 15 ml of solution so all we have to do now is to mix this with water so I'm going to put this one over here and then mix it up. Make sure na mix nyo sa talaga. Okay? So all you have to do is to set this aside. thing that I will be doing is to prune this plant. I will be removing all the leaves or the damaged leaves basically. So when you prune this, dapat sa base talaga ng leaves nyo. And make sure na yung shear nyo is disinfected. So you can use alcohol or water with soap. That's enough to clean your shear. So ito yung gagawin natin muna. I mean, make sure nyo lang na makukuha nyo lahat ng mga damaged leaves niya. So by pruning, it's actually super beneficial to plants. Kasi sometimes, even to us people, you have to sacrifice something. You have to give up something in order for you to be you know you know i mean in order for your improvement or for your betterment so the same principle din yan sa plants dapat i-prune yo yung mga parts na parang hindi na nagbibigay ng benefit sa kanya parang sira na talaga parang masisira na so ayun buhay pa naman siya kasi it keeps on having a new foliage so yun yung yung problema lang talaga sa kanya is that since there is a malabsorption of nutrients, parang nahihirapan siya mag-maintain ng mga older leaves niya. So, yung gagawin niya is basically, ito turn niya into like this. Para makafocus siya sa pag, I mean, yeah, para makafocus siya sa pag-form ng another new leaf. So, yun. So, some of the plants, hindi na natin kailangan i-prune. Yung, yung ano na lang, yung mga tips na lang. And there you go guys, it looks like this now. Uh, we were able to prune this up. So basically, ito, this will go into our trash bin. <laughs> and we have our hydrogen peroxide solution. All we have to do is to pour this onto the roots, especially sa soil nya. But all you have to do now is to pour in this solution. You have to make sure lang na even yung distribution para madala talaga lahat. If there's any um, fungi or bacteria, we can make sure na papatahin siya ng solution na to. So yun, ganun lang siya. I will be updating you guys about this plant perhaps mga 2 weeks from now or a month from now if ganun pa rin yung sitwasyon niya. I will be doing this every 2 weeks para uh, continue yung pag ano niya, continue yung pag treatment niya kasi hindi to madadala sa isang treatment lang right so ganun lang siya so make sure nyo lang na madidrain lahat yung water kasi baka ma over water nyo siya it will do more harm than good sa plant nyo so this solution using the hydrogen peroxide also applies to other plants that you have especially if your plants is sick 
yung parang sabihin mo as a plan parent parang ginawa mo ng lahat parang hindi hindi nyo rin siya na overwatered or enough naman yung sunlight or enough naman yung light na nare-receive ng plant pero ganun pa rin baka baka lang sa kanila talaga yung may mali or baka may sakit lung, or baka may sakit yung roots nila sa pag-absorb ng nutrients that they need, they they would need in order for them to to maintain their leaves or flowers or basically the overall health of the plant supposed to be this is actually the part to na of your taking care or yeah the 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 care tips for your spotify lo but i thought kasi this can also be applied to other plants so guys thank you very much for being with me here today in this video and i hope you learned something from this see you again on the next one Bye-bye.